Today we're in camp that just got finished. Just put the cushions in. Um, this one is actually coming to be one of my favorites. Um, I love the colors they chose in this one. It has got a driftwood white cabinet. And then it's got a linen wall. And then it's got uh, stainless steel appliances. And then it's got the aluminum trim and the silver. They also went with this Thinscape gray countertop that turned out really nice. And they went with the couch. Um, we looked at a different color couch, but it is back ordered for quite a while. So they let us go with this brown, and I think it kind of breaks things up a little bit. Looks really nice, and then the cushions match the couch. And they went with a, more of a gray and white floor, so it turned out really nice. Up in the bed area, they went with the twin bunk and the two twin beds, and then they had us do some cabinets up underneath it where they couldn't kind of get a lot of storage right there because of the way we sectioned the beds. They had us put some up top and then they picked out a curtain fabric that kind of had the gray theme to it. And then this is a hunting camp for them. And so they've got the nature scenes on there. Um, this is just some bedding that I had. So I think they could put a couple different colors in here and really make it look nice. They're coming today to pick this up, so we're really excited to see what they think. So they will use this camp quite a bit. It'll be gone for quite a while at a time. So they did have us do the bigger bathroom. So it's got our traditional standard shower and then an RV toilet. And then they do have the sink and the vanity. And again, you can see the countertop and those cabinets look really nice against that light wall. We've got a good sized closet here to hang some clothes or coats or put some storage. And then another cabinet underneath that can hold quite a bit. Then our standard fridge. And they do have a space for a microwave, but they opted to just have that left open. It's got the gas light, and then they did have us do the cabinet above. pantry area there and then their oven range and then their wood stove then they chose to do their dinette just a little narrower it's about 32 inches wide instead of our traditional 40 I think it turned out really nice um, one of the reasons they did want a roomy feel to this camp and their chair their love seat here does recline, and so that will give them a little extra room for their feet. And they did go with the little wider camp. This is our widest camp that we do. We have two other widths that work really good, but this one, because of the things they were doing, they wanted it wider. 
They have their upper cabinet above their sink and their radio. And then they've got the double sink here and the bank of drawers with some storage back behind there, behind the sink. And this is a pantry that we did for them, but they asked us if we could put them on drawers so that they could access some of this a little bit better. So this turned out really nice. They are on the soft clothes. And once you get to the bottom, we can do them a little bit deeper because they have a little bit more access to them. But um, pretty unique thing that they did there. I really liked it. You can see some of the detail work that our guys do with the backsplash here and that thin scape countertop. They've tied in the horseshoes with a little bit of a gray tint to them. Another thing that our guys have been doing um, is this molding down the ceiling. It's a little bit thicker, gives it a little more detail, ties it in with the rest of the coloring of the camp, makes it look really nice. And then the Western Range camp up on the bed. Here's a little bit of what under the sink looks like. And every one of these will vary a little bit, but we try to get as much storage as we can. Um, you can kind of see down a little bit lower that we've got our water lines inside the camp itself. So it's in insulated space. It's not built into the walls or into the floor. That way you have easy access to it if you ever need to do any maintenance. So we try to get as much storage everywhere as we can. So this is pretty common to have the storage inside our bench. And again, you can see some of the utilities so that um, that can be worked on it if, if it ever needs to. And it also runs through that wood box along the floor. And then you've got more storage in your second bench. Over by our beds, this one's this bed's a little different. We've had some access to storage from the inside, but all of this is accessed from the outside. There are utilities under there, um, but this bed's going to slide together and make one queen bed, and that's why the nightstand back behind is a little bit shorter than normal. Um, those mattresses will slide over that and make into one bed. So this camp has quite a bit of storage. And it still has the ability to sleep quite a few people. Um, the couches will recline and someone could possibly sleep there. It's not the most comfortable way to sleep, but this dinette will also fold down and sleep someone. For the most part, these guys will sleep two or three but they do have the ability to sleep more. Here's a bit of a look at what it would be with the beds pushed together. That TV does swivel so you can watch it from bed as well or from the dinette or the kitchen. A little bit of a bunk above. Here we are on the outside of the camp. It's got the traditional broom and broom holder and the horseshoes for helping get you up the stairs. These guys went with a little bit of storage inside the tongue so they can put a few things in there, maybe some tie downs and things like that. It does have the stabilizer jacks. 
already paying for paint tanks. It's got the adjustable coupler on the front. The rest of it's pretty standard. Fresh air for your wood stove and then your wood box so that you can put wood inside there on the outside. Your outlet for your generator. Furnace door, solar panel, some more storage. That's where your batteries are going to be. Your spare tire. We can mount that in different spots. You've got your receiver too. Your license plate holder and some more stabilizer jacks. Another storage compartment. Your water fills there and your water heater. couple more items. You've got some venting for your plumbing and then your outside shower. In this room where it's being used late season and for hunting, it's got the metal insulated box around it and the heat tape on the pipe and the tanks help it go through the cold spells better and of course your wood burning stove.